G'day everyone, this afternoon I'm experimenting, I'm putting some yabby nets in a spot that I've never had yabby nets to see if there's any yabbies here. I've got to move fast, I'm running late. This evening I'm going Murray cod fishing in some really clear water. Well I've lost count, I think I've kept seven or eight nice sized yabbies. They're not huge, but they're nice, they're good enough, they're big enough, that's for sure. <laughs> well I've lost count, I think I've kept seven or eight yabbies and I've thrown back a similar amount. They'll complement the, uh, the half dozen big ones that I've got at home really well. Anyway, I've got enough, but I'm going to just leave them in for one last soak, just to see if I can get a couple of extras and if I'm... Oh. Right, well I've lost count, but I think I've kept eight or nine yabbies all up. Not monsters, but certainly big enough, and they'll complement the half dozen bit... Right, well I've kept half... But anyway, I've got enough, but I'm going to leave the nets in for one last time, and just see if I can get a couple of extras. If not, well that's all... I'll give them another hour, and just see if I can get a couple more, but if not, I'll be going home happy anyway. Alright. Oh. Well, I've got nine or ten or something in there. I've actually lost count. I think it's nine. Give or take one. <laughs> now, I've got enough, but I've got enough time to leave them in for another soak. So I'll give them another hour. Well, I've kept nine or ten or something. I've actually lost count. But anyway, I've kept nine or ten, and I've got half a dozen quite large ones at home. These ones aren't monsters. They're not massive yabbies, but they're certainly big enough to get a feed off. I'm happy with them. Gee. <sighs> Folks, I've lost count, but I think I've got nine or ten. And I've got half a dozen quite large ones at home, and these will complement them just nicely. These aren't the biggest yabbies in the world, but they're certainly big enough. And now there's a snake swimming across the middle of a dam. <laughs> there's a bloody snake swimming across the middle of the dam, a real little one. I want to go and see where it comes out. See what it is. I'm guessing it's going to be a little brown snake. Is that? Is it even a snake? What on earth? It's a bug. What sort of bloody? It's an ant or a bug or something. What sort of bug can seem like a snake? That's creepy. Folks, I've lost count, but I think I've got nine or ten quite nice sized yabbies in there. Well, folks, I've lost count, but I think there's nine or ten quite nice size yabbies in there. They're not monsters in anyone's book, but they're quite nice size, and they're certainly big enough, and they will complement the half dozen rather large yabbies that I've got at home just nicely. I've caught more than I... Uh, yeah, well, <gasps> well, folks, I've caught more than I expected I'd catch today. Right, let's leave the nets in and come back in an hour or so and see if I can get a... Well, folks, I've actually lost count, but I think I've kept nine or ten quite nice yabbies. I'll bring you back in an hour and... <sighs> well, folks, I've lost count, but I think I've got nine or ten, give or take a couple in there. I'll come back in an hour and uh, see if I can top up the, the... Well, folks, I've caught more than I thought I would. I think I'm up to about nine or ten quite nice yabbies. They're not large. Well, folks, I've caught... Well, folks, I've caught more than I thought I would. I was hoping just to get half a dozen nice ones to complement the half a dozen that I've got at home, and I've already kept nine or ten. They're not monsters, but they are quite nice-sized yabbies, and they'll go down really... I've caught more than I thought I would, and I've, uh, I've, I've got a feed, but I'm just going to... I've got a bit of time, so I'm going to... Well, folks, I've lost... Well, folks, I've lost count, but I think I've... I've... Well, folks... One of the really cool things about these open top lift nets is that they fold down to nothing for better storage. I love the way these nets store down. I love the way these open top... I love the way these open top lift nets fold down flat for good storage. Anyway folks, I didn't hit the jackpot, but I did get a nice feed of late summer yabbies, or early autumn yabbies. It's, we're in March now. I like the way these open top lift nets fold down flat for good storage. I have caught enough to have a nice late summer or early autumn now feed of yabbies. It's in March now. I love the way these open top lift nets fold down flat for good store. I love the way these open top lift nets fold down flat, making them easy to carry around and easy to store. 
Well, folks, I didn't exactly hit the Yabby jackpot, but we're in March. It's about the 7th of March or something like that, and that's, uh, it's a good result for this time of the year. I've kept 10. I like the way these nets fold down flat for storage and for carrying around. It just makes it so much easier. Thank you all very much for watching. G'day everyone, today I've made my way to this dam in pursuit of some very large yabbies. G'day folks, I'm excited because today I've made my way to this dam in pursuit of some monster sized yabbies. So I'm wondering whether maybe it's better in March or April than what it is. G'day folks, I'm excited because the sun... <laughs> Well, folks, you've never seen me yabbying in this dam before, but chances are you... you <sighs> well, hello there, and thanks for joining. My name's Robbie Alexander, and this afternoon I'm going to see if I can catch a redfin in this little dam with a soft plastic. I reckon the water feels perfect at the moment. Did you hear that? <laughs> I can see a massive black snake in the grass down there. Let's go and see if we can get a bit closer. Gone. <laughs> 